Welcome back. And then there were none. All the buzz about a Twitter acquisition coming to a dead stop after reports said that Salesforce and other companies actually backed down, walked away from a deal. Twitter trolls were partly to blame, they said. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that months before Salesforce was even considering a bid to acquire Twitter, the company's mergers and acquisitions target list excluded the company. I want to bring in Recon Capital Chief Investment Officer Kevin Kelly right now uh, in New York. Kevin, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm actually missing out. I love what Vegas. <laughs> well, we are missing you as well here, actually, Kevin. What do you think about this whole Twitter story? I mean, does Twitter, will Twitter get acquired, or are they going to just have to figure this out alone and grow organically? I thought for a long time Twitter should have been acquired. Um, one of the reasons why is because they have a lack of direction, right? People didn't really see what was happening and how they were going to drive more revenue, improve the user experience, and it has remained that way. Now, one of the reasons why Twitter wasn't on this uh, leaked email in their, in, their, in their deck of acquisitions is because they were trying to digest the LinkedIn deal. The LinkedIn deal was a $26 billion deal for Salesforce, and they were really going after it and competing against Microsoft. But make no mistake, Salesforce has always been a serial acquirer, and they typically use their stock as currency. So that's one of the reasons why they lost out on, on LinkedIn, because they were doing a cash and stock deal, while Microsoft came in and just bought it all out for stock. So this really isn't surprising. Um, that they that Twitter wasn't on here because it's a really expensive company to digest. People were talking about the valuation being around twenty billion dollars and more expensive than LinkedIn, and so there was more value um, elsewhere than for Salesforce. So it's a pretty interesting um, leaked email that's showing the inner workings of how companies are acquired. But there wasn't any real news because a lot of the a lot of the companies that were in here were talked about being on the sales. Block. So this isn't really a big um, story in regards to leaked information that wasn't already out there. Do they even have a plan to monetize the business? Um, I mean, there's no advertising on Twitter, right? What do you, what do you guys think? No, you I'm, I'm you were dead. spot on about yeah. what, why potentially Salesforce walked just, away. Yeah, there's just too much trolling activity on Twitter to the point where like everyone that's anonymous is bashing the skull of these uh, big follow high volume people that are being followed. I, I think it, I think it's a disaster for them long term. It's very hard for an advertiser to put stuff on Twitter when they see that sort of nonsense. What's the, put it put it this way. What is the value of the scores of people who spend their days calling me four letter words? Right? What is the advertising value of that? What do you want to right. sell to them? Yeah. T-shirts? Because they bash me for, you know, I mean, they bash me from the right and the left sometimes. So I, you can't, that's why it's hard to, to monetize those users. What I love about you is you take it as a form of compliment. Yeah. That's what yeah. I love about well, you. Well, they're watching. Anyway. Gets, yeah, exactly. Do you think the SEC gets involved at all, do a little investigation and see if any of this is actually coming out of Twitter? A lot of the, hey, this person, this group's looking at us, this group's Wait looking at us. Wait a minute. Are you really advocating government intervention in no, a government I'm, I'm investigation? Just, I, I, that is no, really no, conservative. No, no, no. I'm asking the boss over Scott's here. Scott's bringing up a point that a lot of this rumor mill starts on Twitter or social media that is basically unfounded in right. the marketplace. Yeah. So and the valuation of Twitter is well. just too high. Is there a number that, in fact, they get purchased at, do you think? I don't, me, me personally, I think Twitter is going to have a very hard time unless they change the business model. They've got to make it longer format, more than 140 characters. Yeah. And if you're going to be a troll on Twitter, I think they've got to have almost like a troll inspector uh, to cut the nonsense. Real, real quick on Morgan Stanley, company reporting earnings this morning, yeah, so, stock is up ahead of the open. So this is an interesting thing. Morgan Stanley will probably have an 11% revenue growth in the quarter, wow. which will be very good. They had a week. Uh, third quarter last year, but the most important thing about this, Maria, and the reason why Goldman's earnings were so strong, is the Volcker rule is actually helping these banks. Imagine that, because there's no uh, liquidity, uh, their spreads are wider, and they're making it up on transaction costs. All right, we'll see what the numbers show. Kevin, good to see you. We'll see you back at the ranch. Great, thanks a lot. Kevin Kelly in New York there.